Hello, this is Udi Meirav, founder and CEO of Caliber Biometrics. And today I want to talk to you about RER. What is it and why it's interesting? And if you look at the screens of the Caliber app, you'll see RER in many places. So what is it? RER stands for Respiratory Exchange Ratio. By the way, there's a similar quantity called respiratory quotient, RQ. We will treat them interchangeably. Maybe in the future we'll talk about some of the distinctions between the two. We'll use RER. So what is RER? It is actually the ratio of how much CO2 your body's producing divided by the amount of oxygen that it's consuming. So as you use more CO2 relative to oxygen, your RER goes up. If you're using less CO2 relative to the oxygen, your RER goes down. In normal conditions, they're fairly close and the, the RER value is typically going to be between 0.7 to 1 in normal conditions. It does not mean that your RER cannot be less than 0.7 or greater than 1, but in normal effort and normal metabolic states, that is typically the range of values. Now, what determines the respiratory exchange ratio, the RER? The body takes in oxygen and uses it to burn sugars or fats. And when it does that, it releases the CO2 that's produced in the process. And it turns out that if you're burning sugars, the amount of CO2 released relative to the oxygen consumed is one to one. So if your body is only using sugars for energy, you would have the same amount of oxygen absorbed as CO2 released, and the RER would be one. On the other hand, when you're burning fats, your body needs more oxygen to process these fats relative to the amount of CO2 released. So the RER is lower. And if you're only burning fat, your RER is typically about 0.7. Most people, most of the time, burn a mix of these two fuels, so RER would end up somewhere in the middle. And the beauty of RER is that you can determine the ratio, how much sugar you're burning versus how much fat you're burning, just by looking at the RER. And that is what Caliber does. We did not invent this. This is very well known to medical science for more than a century. But we're able to do this at Caliber because we measure both the oxygen and the CO2.